viewers, welcome to the global news update on top accolade news. First, the headlines. France to withdraw ambassador and troops from Niger. Russian schools embrace militarization. NLC challenges organized private sector of a planned nationwide strike. Details coming up shortly. In politics, France to withdraw ambassador and troops from Niger. Following a coup in Niger, French President Emmanuel Macron has announced the withdrawal of the French ambassador and troops from the nation. This decision comes after mounting pressure from the military and public demonstrations. Thousands of people have protested, demanding French forces exit Niger, signaling a shift towards Nigerian sovereignty. This move aligns with France troops withdrawals from other Sahelian countries, reflecting evolving dynamics in the region. On educational matters, Russian schools embrace militarization. In a dramatic shift, Russian schools are being increasingly militarized, preparing children for possible service in the armed forces. From nursery grades to high school, students now participate in military drills and learn combat skills. The curriculum has been overhauled to emphasize defense of the motherland. President Putin is personally leading this patriotism campaign, rewriting history and framing the invasion of Ukraine as a mission to protect Russian speakers. The move is seen as a strategic government initiative, significantly reshaping the education system. In business, NLC challenges organized private sector of a planned nationwide strike. In Nigeria, the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC has criticized the organized private sector OPS for opposing a nationwide strike, accusing them of advocating for low wages. The NLC also alleged government attempts to sabotage efforts for palliative following subsidy removal on petrol. This intensifying struggle between labor and private sector highlights the growing economic challenges faced by workers, demanding fair wages and better working conditions. You are watching the news on Top Accolade News. Do stay with us. Still to come. Thanks for staying with us concerning security. Escalating clashes in Ethiopia, Amhara region. In Ethiopia, Amhara region fighting between government troops and local militias known as the Fano continues. The historic city of Gonda witnessed intense urban combat. Conflicting reports indicate military gains in certain areas showcasing a volatile situation. The postponement of a significant peace conference implies the region's escalating insecurity and a dire need for stability and dialogue. On entertainment, Gugu honors South African jazz pioneer Todd Machikiza. Today, Gugu pays tribute to Todd Machikiza, a pivotal figure in South Africa's art and culture scene, known for his contribution to jazz and composition in various artistic forms. Machikiza's legacy is commemorated through a special Google Doodoo. This acknowledgement celebrates his vital role in shaping South Africa's cultural landscape. In sports, Nigerian UFC star Mohamed Usman secures victory. Nigerian mixed martial artist Mohamed Usman triumphed in his return to the UFC, defeating Jake Coyler in a thrilling encounter during the UFC fight night in Vegas. Usman showcased his skill and determination, securing a unanimous decision victory. His win highlights Nigeria's growing influence in the international sports arena, reinforcing the nation's sporting prowess. 
That concludes our global news update for today. Stay tuned for more international news and development. Thanks for joining us. I am Jonathan Powe. Connect and engage with us on all our social media handles. Do have a wonderful day.